wooden parts called mill furniture. Each side has all these wooden parts here. This is simply a way to get the grain into the stone. So you have a hopper that the grain goes in, it drops down onto this little tray called the shoe. The shoe is a little V tray that you can raise or lower to adjust the rate of grain going into the stone. And that's done with this leather strap. There's a little peg down below we can tighten or loosen. Then you've got this piece in the center that is rotating with the millstone and hitting the shoe. It's called the damsel. And that just helps shape that grain into the stone. And of course you have a casing around the millstones, otherwise you'd have cornmeal flying out all over the floor. So the meal goes through the millstone, ground up, it exits all the way around the circle here, but the spinning of the stone sweeps 95% of it down to the opening in the front and down the spout, down to be sifted in the lower level of the mill. You do periodically have to take the millstone furniture off to clean it out, particularly in the hot months. And the other thing millers had to do was sharpen millstones, those grooves we talked about outside. If you get 60,000 pounds of grain go through a millstone, it's going to wear those and make them dull. And so they used a tool called a mill bill, and this is one right here. And you have to take the, all the furniture off, take the millstone, top millstone up, 